We have a super chat from YouTube. Benjamin Henry is back. Benjamin Henry is back. Chipping in another $5 for today's show. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Benjamin. Could you talk about PMCs? I'm interested to hear your thoughts about mercenaries and professional combatants. I assume this is private military military contractors. Now, it's funny that you mentioned this, Ben, because one of the stories that I wanted to get to today is from realclearinvestigations.com. Investigative issues. Eric Prince sues the Intercept for alleged alleging proposed alliance with Russians. Now, who is Eric Prince? The founder of the global security firm Blackwater USA, since renamed Z, and they, they've had to re These are the people who are responsible for most, if not all, of the, the atrocities in Iraq committed by military contractors. There's also another big one. Got to give credit to Triple Canopy as a separate organization that uh, w- was responsible for a lot of these atrocities. And uh, that th- it's, it's kind of funny that this is what they're they're going into it over he is suing the investigative news site the intercept for defamation over an april 13 article headlined eric prince offered lethal services to sanctioned russian mercenary firm wagner his lawyer said on tuesday the article claimed provocatively that quote any business relationship between prince and wagner would in effect make the influential trump administration advisor a subcontractor to the russian military that's the bridge too far mr prince that's this is a guy who had to testify in Congress about killing innocent civilians in Iraq. So this is a really dangerous pitfall for libertarians intellectually when we say we don't want there to be any government controlled military. We prefer military forces be privatized as in in the hands of the people. And first, of, of, of course, what I'm proposing with localization is that the military be de- decentralized, that we don't even change the premises of it, but we first make it localized and accountable. And that's how you transition to uh, a military force that's controlled by the people rather than governments, which are controlled by special interests. So whether, you know, lo- localization solved most of the problems of the corruption of the military without having to go to the, the libertarian absolute ideal of full privatization. And to your question, Benjamin, private military contractors, when you say contractors, you're implying that they are working for government. Now, maybe you're using the term in some other way, or you could use it in some other way. But when it's contractors, it's worse than the military. It's a greater evil. Because what you have is the same fundamental problem of you are stealing from taxpayers. So right away, the customer has no say in where their money goes to defense resources. Then it goes to a politician. And the politician decides where to spend that money, where to order troops based on their corporate sponsors, based on their lobbyists and special interests and the people who are paying them off. And so then they use the military. Now, the military is at least a large scale force that is subject to public scrutiny. And so they use that and they have to fool the American public with lies about weapons of mass destruction and you know, chemical weapons and, uh, you know, Osama bin Laden in a cave and and things like that to convince the American people to accept what the military is doing, which is still hugely destructive and and wasteful and, and evil, fundamentally evil. When you go with a private military contractor, the only thing you're changing is the last part of that sequence. It's still money stolen from taxpayers going through politicians at best of special special interests is instead of going to the military in the final step it's going to private military contractors and the reason that's worse is it's well you know in the sense that you're socializing the losses and privatizing the benefits you're just going straight to the contractors giving them the money without going through the military without creating and, and what is the military it's a it's, it's, a, it's an unemployment program right yeah. think about it like this dig ditches fill them back up did you ever do that in the military? Yeah. Scrub articles, <laughs> scrub them again. Right? You know, it's it's a make work program, really. The U.S. military is uh, propping up the economy in a lot of ways that it shouldn't be. Like, you know, just stop, stop thinking about this angle. Like, I, even 
even I don't get to talk about this that much, but if all these people in the military are, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's it's not like, you know, it's the post office in camouflage, right? It's not like all of a sudden they're all doing really super essential things, providing goods and services that people want to consume and making sure that you stay safe. No, it's, it's, a, it's a make work program. I mean, imagine if the military all of a sudden just got efficient at what it was doing and was able to lay off 80% of its workforce. Yeah, you'd have another, just that would create an unemployment crisis in America. So in a way, they, they kind of have to keep this going as a make work program. And you're skipping that. When you go to the private military contractors, you, you are even more directly privatizing the profits. But you're also taking away the accountability that you get with the military. And that's why you had the four Blackwater security agents who drove across the Southern Bridge over the Euphrates River in uh, 2004 when I was there precipitating the siege of Fallujah where I saw that many more people die for no reason, including those four Blackwater security agents who ended up getting strung up and burned on international television on the Northern Bridge over the Euphrates. So yeah, this is a little bit of a personal thing for me, not just from that experience, but also the rest of the time I was in Iraq when you know we were begging for vehicle armor uh, on our Humvees and they were driving around in, in beautiful up armored SUVs with air conditioning, getting to wear civilian clothes and top of the line body armor and weaponry. And we're like, what the fuck? Or you don't care about the, why are the, why is, they're still getting paid with government money. Why are they with that? All right, they're the new special forces, I guess. You know, that like that was kind of the attitude towards them. And for everybody in the military, it's like, wow, when I get out, I'm gonna go play that game. Why would I why would I be a sucker and stay enlisted when they're gonna hire me? I'm gonna make way more money, get paid three times as much, live in a, uh, in an air conditioned you know, hooch on, on the other side of the base with all this better equipment. Why would I stay in the military? And then you have the atrocities because you don't have the accountability so the the intellectual trap for libertarians is for people to say ah see you privatize the military it makes it worse it's like no 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 you 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 privatized the worst part that should have been eliminated in the first place because if you had the taxpayers directly connected to security forces whatever is being spent on defense is now accountable directly to the people if anything, you removed another layer of accountability. When we say privatization, we, we don't mean privatize the evil part so that it can get more evil. We mean privatize the entire process so that it's accountable directly to the people because the people don't want war. You would never have war. You would never have wedding parties hit with drone strikes, killing dozens of innocent people. All You, know, you wouldn't have white phosphorus rounds and depleted uranium causing birth defects in Fallujah. Even now, uh, uh, over a decade and a half after I was there, you wouldn't have all of this evil of the current military if these things were accountable directly to the people. That's what we want as libertarians, a voluntary world, a peaceful world, a, a world set free in our lifetime means one where everybody's rights are respected universally. So private military contractors are not the way privatization to mean specifically making all defense service suppliers in whatever form they may take directly accountable to the people they are serving that is what we are advocating as the way forward for peace